Since Connor began his singing career, he has conquered social media, gaining a massive fan base of harassers. Connor has created hits such as One Chance, Missing Peace, and You Brought My Heart. You Brought My Heart created Connor as a Vivo artist, and his latest releases inspire teenagers across the world. Connor isn't just a singer, he's a multi talented teenager. He's gone from acting into singing and modelling. Connor has performed alongside the likes of Chipmunk, Misha B, Professor Green, The Lovable Rogues and many more. Connor is a very charitable lad who often performs at charity events and likes to boost the ego of charities across the UK. 2013 is set out to be a massive year for Connor. Connor is also doing a tour of schools as well as festivals throughout the year and is working on an acoustic album. I've managed to grab, grab him today after his amazing performance in Liverpool. How does it feel knowing you've changed and saved so many people's lives through yourself and your music? Um, it, it's kind of mad like how we started off, I mean we've been doing it for two years now and like the turnout today was just amazing. Um, so it, it's kind of mad, I mean when I have people that tweet me and say that I inspire them, it's kind of crazy because I get inspired by artists and I get inspired by my fans. So it's always amazing to know that I'm inspiring people and I'm giving people that confidence to go after their dream, um, chase their dreams, so yeah. Well, what is the one thing that has changed your life? The people that I have around me, um, my team, um, my fans, my Harris, they're, they're the people that have changed my life. They're the people that have got me to the stage where I'm at now, you know, supporting the likes of Professor Green, like you said, and Chipmunk and We Should Be. To support them, my fans got me there. Um, that's why I always give something back to them, uh, i.e. performing today, you know, a free performance for my fans to come out, so yeah. Where do you plan to visit in the future? Everywhere, the world basically, um, you know, we're always aiming to go the next step, so you know, we're in the UK at the moment, we're, we're travelling all around the UK at the moment, so my next step is to go out into Europe and so on and so forth. So. What has been the best experience while doing your music? My best experience has been meeting so many amazing new people all around the UK. Um, uh, meeting my fans, doing my music, getting into the studio. It's it's all been amazing. Music, I'd sum it up as just saying Connor Harris. It's, it's just being Connor Harris has just been mad and I, I wouldn't change to be anyone else in the world. So. If you could collaborate with anyone in the industry, who would it be and why? My, my, I'd like to collab with um, James Arthur due to the fact that I think he could relate to one of my new singles that are coming out uh, later on in the um, later on in the year towards the winter time. Uh, it's a really touching kind of song, um, and it's something that we always walk past every single day, but we don't take any notice in. And it's it, it's a really really inspiring song for me, and I just want to get a message across that James Arthur would be the person that I could see being on that song. So he'd be the person, James Arthur. Where do you see yourself in five years' time? Five years' time, uh, at the moment, I just look for now. We never know, you know, how short our life's going to be. You know, our time's always ticking. So um, I, I wouldn't say I can see myself doing this in five years' time. But one thing I know for a fact is I can see myself for a lot more harassers, no matter if it's a week, a month, a year, two years, or five years. I can see myself for a lot more harassers are there promoting it like so much and I had so many amazing new harassers that I met today. That's why I took so much time to just stand and talk to people and to have loads of photos for everyone. And I must have had about 10 different photos with one person, so yeah, my Harris does everyone. Wow. What is the support like from your hometown? The support from Birmingham, it, it's it's not all that. Birmingham's amazing. Birmingham's got an amazing grime scene. Um, so my kind of music isn't really Birmingham based. Everyone's really mad for grime and the grime lads are really doing Birmingham proud. Um, so my, it, it's it's okay, but you know I've still got loads of other places around the UK to visit. So yeah, I can't say it's amazing. I can't say it's it's not good because I have got fans there, and no matter if it's one fan, you know, it's still someone that supports my music, and that one person can promote it on to the next 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 so on so forth. So yeah, I'm not to like, travel from Birmingham to Liverpool quite a lot <laughs> to, to to regularly perform for Harrisons. What keeps bringing you back to Liverpool? Them today, did you see them? Oh well, um, my Harris in Liverpool are amazing. Uh, there's so many people that travel up from north as well to Liverpool. For instance, we had fans that uh, travel from Glasgow down here, uh, Wales. People travel to today. 
Um, so it's always, they always give me a nice warm welcome. Um, so that's the whole reason. I know a lot of people travel down there, but there's a lot of different countries that I need to travel to. Uh, and that's our main task at the moment. So, you know, I won't be constantly in Liverpool this, this 2013. Um, as we've got to go everywhere else and see all my other friends there. But they're the reason why I keep coming back. What actually makes your Harrister so special to you? They've changed my life. <laughs> they're, they're getting me closer to my dream and yeah, they're, they're there for me like 24-7. They're, they're there when I'm having a down day, they're there if I'm having a good day, they're there to give me a hug, they're there to just give me a bit of support. My Harristers are literally my life and they're the ones that are changing my life, so yeah. So you're good. So as we know you're getting a, you're making an acoustic album now, is there any more artists you want to perform with in different concerts or different areas or what can we generally see to expect from you in the future? Um, in the future you can expect a lot more songs, like you just said my acoustic um, album EP is dropping very, very soon, so we're working on that. Um, but for the future, hopefully the world's going to know my name and my Harris is to promote me so much. So yeah, the world's going to know my name, hopefully. Um, the way we're going at the moment uh, and the amazing people that I've got around me, there's no doubt that you know if we keep pushing at the rate we're pushing, the world will know.